Hi guys, my name is Flower Friendly. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing my mom's dreads. And this is a warning, do not attempt to do this if it is not your mom. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, so this is my mom. Hi. Her name's mom. <laughs> Today we're going to be teaching you guys how to do some maintenance and how to extend a dreadlock. So today we're going to be using brown hair and blonde hair. For this method, you're going to be using a crochet hook. You can pick these up pretty much anywhere, um, local stores or even online. They're pretty cheap relatively. Alright, so now that we have her hair up, we're looking at her different sections. You can kind of see here that right here the hairline is kind of starting to mold together. So we're just going to make sure that we're pulling each little hair apart, separating it at the root. This is how we're going to be doing the maintenance today, making sure it's nice and clean. You can usually do this part just by picking it with your fingers. We're going to start with this one. We're going to just make sure that we're cleaning up her lines as we're going. Pulling all the hair on this side away. Now that you checked this side, the top, the bottom, and this side, if there wasn't one on that side. Now, we're just going to do our technique. So to do this technique, we're going to take these two index fingers and your thumb. You're going to put the hair over those two fingers, put your thumb on top. And now you're going to take the hook, scrape the back side, flip it over, scrape the top with the hair still on it, flip it over, and you're just going back and forth around the dread, back and forth, back and forth. Let's do it here. So we're going to start grabbing the, the hair with the hook, flipping it over, grabbing the top side, going back and forth, back and forth. When you're doing this crochet method, you want to make sure that you are grabbing all of the loose hair on the outside and pulling it inward. Also, make sure you go through halfway, grab all the loose hairs, pull them through. Grabbing the extra hair surrounding, wrapping it around the hook, grabbing the extra hair, and then pulling the hair through. Now we have some hair in the center. And go ahead and do that a couple times. How's that feel? Feels good. No, it does. It feels good. It's okay. Ashley wants me to. I want to go to sleep. Could you play with my hair? Not right now. This is gonna hurt. <laughs> is it? Yeah, because you haven't been pulling them apart, have you? I didn't know I was supposed to. Because now they're all molded oh. together. Don't say mold. <laughs> they're molded. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the bottom row maintenance. 
She does have one up here, so we're gonna take this one out. So this one's a little wild right here. So now we're going to be doing a blonde ombre. So now we take the hair and we're going to nest it. We're just pulling apart all these little strands that are sticking together. Just separate them, pull them apart. I got a fur bowl. All right, so now we are going to be teasing our hair just a little bit. Not enough to damage it, just enough to make it a little bit thicker near the root. Now that we've teased our hair a little bit, we're going to Take our extra hair, put it right under the human hair. Remember, this will only work if this is your mom. And all I'm doing is I am putting the hair underneath, pushing the needle through, grabbing the other hair, and I'm doing that technique I taught you guys earlier, just so you can get a good ombre from the natural hair color to the hair color that you want, you want to take her hair, or your mom's hair, <laughs> and wrap it around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and wrap it around your extra hair that you bought. And this is just so on the outside you have the same hair color. And you do this technique over and over. And to help you, if there's too much in the way for you, just kind of like stretch it out, put it underneath, and you want to make sure it's the same thickness all the way down, so kind of feel it. All right, so you can kind of feel that right here is a little bit more thick and it's starting to get a little bit more thin right here, so we just grab a bunch of hair right here and go ahead and give it just a couple. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now the hair's stuck. And now you can start working on the top. Go along those two, scrape the back side, turn it over with the hair on the hook still. And then you're going to take it, pull it through, pull it through. Just keep her actual hair color on the outside until we start thinning out towards the bottom. At this point you want to kind of stop and look at the dread, make sure that there isn't any weak points in it. If there is, just go back in, tighten it up. If you see any loose hairs, just tuck those in. It looks really furry in the beginning. And then eventually it kind of comes together like that. Alright, so now I have showed you my mom. <laughs> 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 and how to do some maintenance, how to do a dread extension and ombre. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. My name is Flower Friendly. This is my mom. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you see? You see? Next time on Flower Friendly, we will be doing her full head <laughs> of dreads. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>